the Children First legislation has been on the priority list for a while now and there's been quite a hold up in it. Is this coming soon as well? Well, yes, there has been and uh, I'm, it is a priority for me and there's a lot of work being done on it. Uh, we got the report from the committee. I want to and I will put Children First on a statutory basis and uh, I'm hoping that I'll have the heads of that going to government as well this term and um, I'm assured that will happen. There's a lot of work being done by, by my department. We've run into some difficulties in terms of the definitions of organisations and who should have to report because there is a criminal conviction. So we want it to be workable as well. So we've had a lot of teasing out to do. And of course, we're working on the agency as well. And we were working on the referendum last year. And my department, like every department, has limited resources. So, um, but it is a priority and do just really do want to assure people of that. Is, the, is one of the issues and I remember before being about um, s sexual activity among teenagers and, and the No, I think that's, that. I don't think that's an issue. I think we can uh, deal with that issue and, you know, protect the confidentiality of GPs. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be an issue. But, you know, if children uh, are at risk or if one uh, young person's been exploited by an older person, um, that has to be reported. Yeah. So it's a question of making the proper assessment. And I think the GPs are very tuned into this. I've met with the uh, different uh, organisations. Uh, we're actually getting great support for it. You know, from GA, for example, are doing fantastic work. Uh, the IFA. Um, like, there's a new understanding in the country. Yeah. And we see it in the reports coming from the churches as well. You know, you've got to be vigilant. You know, if you're not vigilant, look at the historic cases that are coming to light in the UK now. And dear, yeah. I mean... People can never believe that child sexual abuse exists. There's still a level of denial almost, but we've gone much better at, because of the bravery of people like Andrew Madden and all of those individuals who've spoken out and said, you know, this is what's happened to me. Um, we're, we're gone, we're much more vigilant and putting children first on a statutory basis, that's saying there's no room for ambivalence about this. We, we've got to take this seriously. If you think a child's been abused, do something, you know, report it and make sure you get action.